The Terminator is the prequels to or the beginning of The Matrix. Sarah Connor is actually Neo's mother. So J.C., John Connors, Jesus Christ grows up to be Neo, one and the same in The Matrix. The Matrix is in the future. The Terminator is the past. It's time travel, past, present, and future time travel. It's the second coming of the Christ, the evolutions of consciousness, man versus the machine. So the machines, the Terminator machines hear that a child is going to be born that's going to terminate them in the future when they oppress man. Because see, it's a man versus the machine. It's God's children versus man's children, which was technology. So man versus nature. Exactly. So the Terminator has the time travel to the past because they know it's Sarah Connor. And they have to kill her, terminate her, so she won't have the baby. And Kyle Reese, he comes from the future to protect her, and he invertly gets her pregnant. And he has to go back to the future. And so it's the Immaculate Conception, because now she's pregnant and she fell in love with a man, but did it really happen? Did he exist? And then this child, when you see the three Terminators, the, the, the boy and then the man child, subconsciously he doesn't know why the Terminator is trying to kill him until he's hidden out in the city, in the Matrix, the future. When he reaches 30 years of age, the rebellion, the reloaded, revolution starts. And the rebels come and they find him because they've been watching him all along. That's what the Guardians and the Sentinels are all about. And so they wake him up to his purpose. They take him to Morpheus to train him to fight the machines. They take him to the Oracle because of the prophecy. So this is the whole epic story. It's an epic. Because this plays into why this sudden, home. this sudden mental change on Facebook. Where is Facebook now a threat where they need to regulate them and shut them down? Facebook is nothing but a database for the CIA. That's all it is. It has all of your family's pictures, all of your friends. It has all the information. They used it here in Vegas when they had that car accident. Remember when the Maserati right by the Cromwell? Yes, when yes. that happened uh -huh. right there, well, all they did was take camera footage from uh, Caesars, Bally's, and, you know, other uh, casinos. And they went and they took this footage and they got the license plates. And then they saw that the guy did, you know, California. He rented that uh, Range Rover. And after they did that, they went to social network and they found his girlfriend on Twitter and so they found his picture and then they went to LA because they knew they were from LA put his uh, picture on a $250,000 billboard and put a reward up for him for $25,000 and they got him within two weeks within two weeks because of the technology so how should we how do you advise people to share the image, well, the data? There's not going to be any more privacy. Everything is camera down. Everything is caught on camera. And this is what is going to be about in the future, virtual reality that I'm explaining in The Matrix and Terminator. Everything is going to be, so now it's going to be so easy. You're, you're not going to have any more paper passports. It's just going to be where you come into the airport, they're going to scan you, your body, retinal, fingerprints, the whole nine yards. This is what clear is about. Right That's that right. Airport. That's what clear, yeah. This way, nobody has to alter paper and put a picture or a name on there because they have your bone structure, they have your eyes, they got your fingerprints. This is the database and they match you up. You see what I'm saying? And you go through. So that way no terrorists can come through and pretend to be somebody or, or somebody that they're looking for that's the most wanted. You see what I'm saying? Because all of this technology is going to start ruling. It's artificial intelligence. It's going to start ruling everything. Once the satellites come into play that I'm talking about, there's maybe another five to ten years from now. They're really going to play uh, a phenomenal part because this is why Apple and Microsoft became the billion dollar, trillion dollar babies is because IBM and Xerox didn't know what a mouse was. A mouse meaning they didn't know what the internet was going to be. You see what I'm talking about? They didn't want to move into that technology. 
The studios don't know what streaming is. They got pissed off because Netflix paid $50 million and got three or four Oscars for the movie Roma. But it was never shown in the movie theaters at all. It was watched. And that's why Steven Spielberg and all of it. You know, when we come back, yes. I, I'm going to have uh, some of my crew to join you, my technical people, the superhero. We mentioned when you were coming on your lawsuits and the battles you've had to fight, and you've just won in Utah. Yes. But it's always a battle for you. Well, the reason why it's always a battle for me is because the government r refuses to protect my copyrights. You know, I own the copyrights to all the derivative movies, the fran both franchises I own. It was adjudicated in Utah September the 25th, 2014. So why am I still with a RICO case here in Nevada, which I just won, but they're still trying to fix it? so they can continue to use the stolen money, which is untraceable, and it's all linked to Hillary Clinton's foundation and money laundering. Do you consider yourself politically neutral? I consider myself totally neutral. All I'm worried about is for the people, because if the government doesn't protect my copyrights, he doesn't protect yours. But the government afraid, is afraid of you. I'd be afraid of you. Well, there's no need to be afraid of me because well, I only stand for principles. But, you know, but what you know and the knowledge you share and what you have insights to can be very dangerous to some people. Yes, but my job is to come here and waken people. That's what the Matrix is about, to wake you up from the Matrix, to get you out of the illusions and the lies and the ignorance. So it's not dangerous for me because that's my job. That's what I came here to do. That's why I wrote the Matrix and Terminator to wake people up so they can move on to greater, better things. Yeah, but a lot of these movie houses and these studios and the Facebooks of the world don't want people to know what happens to them every day when they share the information. But that's destroying their free will, but and do God you think, doesn't want that. But people, people want to play, want to be ignorant. They don't want to know that they're being exploited. It requires too much responsibility when they find out. Well, that's what the blue, the blue pill and the red pill is about. The red pill is about the blood of the living beings. The black and the blue ink is the machines. But this is the, the human's world. We are the winners. They are the losers. So people need to exert their free will regardless of what anybody wants. So what are the unintended consequences of all this that we're talking about? Their people's consciousness will shift and they will go on to create and do better things. They won't be in bondage. And this is the whole purpose of the Matrix and Terminator and the new work that's coming, Matrix 4. It's a Matrix 4 book is out, it's been selling for nine years since 2010 around the entire globe. People have to wake up and shift their consciousness so they can create, so they can build. Because you can't stay in the past. Everything must change, right? One of the things in the one minute that we have left, if you don't remember anything else about the broadcast today, is this. You're not as free as you think you are. You're in bondage in more ways than you imagine. And it's a different kind of slavery, very dangerous kind of slavery that the mind and how we concede ourselves to people without any thoughts, or any challenge, and we're so willing to surrender. Freedom comes with a price. It takes as much to maintain it as it did to establish it. It's not really free, and it's but, not for the faint of heart. But man is always going to take that challenge because man wants to be free. Look, everybody loved The Matrix and Terminator because it woke them up. They didn't even realize they were in the dream. They didn't realize they were in a simulation. They didn't realize they were in the illusions. But now that they are awakened, they will fight. Will you fight? Are you awakened? Are you ready to embrace your destiny? Because freedom comes from God, not from man. And the moment you realize that, you'll begin that journey of freedom. Thank you so much. I want to say one thing. Like Morpheus said, I didn't tell you it was going to be easy. But it will be fair if you fight the fight. That's right. You can equal the battlefield.